Yesterday, we told you how CHI Health is preparing to handle a second wave of the coronavirus and what doctors learned during the first wave. The health system says it's done 20,000 tests already and is planning on doubling testing by August. But what else are doctors and researchers at CHI Health doing? Reporter Phil Bergman has more. With coronavirus cases surging in parts of the United States, CHI Health is preparing for the possibility of increased testing. We are predicting the need for 10,000 tests a day. And so to be able to deliver 10,000 tests a day, we have to build additional capacity in each of our, our regional health systems. So far, CHI Health hasn't had a backlog of tests, but leaders say they know their clinics want to test more patients. We have uh, requests from places like schools who want to test students before they come back. So we have a lot of requests out there for, for more testing. Later this summer, CHI expects to get a new automated large capacity molecular instrument capable of performing high volume COVID testing. Taken together, all these measures, uh, we expect that uh, will increase our um, efficiency and enable us to double our testing capacity going forward. Serology or antibody testing is also a way of looking at the COVID-19 infection. CHI Health says its platform is a well-established analyzer that has done this type of testing for years. They have a good track record for uh, producing accurate tests. But many questions still remain about its role in diagnosing patients. Doctors say the antibody test shouldn't be used for diagnosis. When you boil it all down, a positive serology probably means you've been exposed to the virus. Doesn't mean you have acute infection does not mean you're immune. In the meantime, doctors say we still need to do preventative measures such as social distancing and wearing masks. Well, it may not be as uh, lethal as we once thought. It isn't something that we should, uh, we should not take seriously. Reporting in Omaha, Phil Bergman, 3 News Now. CHI Health said overall mortality rates based on mass testing is a lot lower than what was originally projected.